right, four or five years ago, I read this book, one of my favorite books of all time, okay? I'm gonna hold it up for you. I don't know if any, who, who, who's read this book? In the, in the comments, I want to know who has read this amazing novel by Mr., I think it's Paulo, Paulo, Paulo Coelho, Paulo, Paulo, is that how you say it? Paulo, Mr. Coelho, okay? If you've read this book, I want to know in the comment section, have you read The Alchemist, okay? Um, this is a phenomenal book. One of my favorite books of all time. Who has read this book, okay? Let me look at the comments here. Um, let's see. Dave Schultz, Dave Shute says, love the energy. I love that, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I don't care if you love it, uh, but I appreciate you letting me know that you do love it. That's, that's great to hear. Okay. Has anyone read this book or am I the only person? Am I the only person that's read this book? Has anyone else read this book? This is a phenomenal book. <laughs> Somebody said, this ain't Nick. This is caffeine. Bro, here, hold up. Sigmanu. Sigmanu. Okay. Dude, I've had, this has 80 milligrams of caffeine and I've had about a third of it. This ain't the caffeine, G. Okay. This ain't the caffeine. Trust me. Actually, don't trust me. You can keep saying that. This has a hundred, oh, sorry. This is a hundred milligrams of caffeine. I've had about 30 milligrams of caffeine. I've had like half a can of soda worth of caffeine. This ain't the caffeine, bro. Trust me. Okay. Um, Gentry Julian's red. Zane has not. Gentry Julian, bro. Excited to see you jumping into the space, dude. I I'm pumped. And thanks for being on the show. So guys, let me just tell you why I'm I'm relating this book, okay? Is I read this book uh, three, four years ago. A friend of mine was always talking about it. I'm like, let me pick this thing up. It's a phenomenal book, okay? And the whole purpose of this book is like chasing the thing that makes you just, the, the thing that you love and chasing your passion, doing the thing that like you were called to do, okay? And I'm bringing this up because as good of a book as this is, it also confused me and I got it, I got it confused just a little bit. Okay. And, and what I mean by that is I naively assumed that I was going at some point to find this thing that I loved every single aspect of every nuance, every activity, every waking second of every day doing. And that's kind of what I thought I was looking for. And and it kind of discouraged me a little bit because I was like, I don't know of anything in my life that I love doing all the time, right? And so I, I, I kind of confused me. And I want you guys to know that like, first and foremost, with this business model that I'm so passionate about, this rank and rent business model or the rent then rank business model, I'm here to tell you, I do not, right? In fact, not only do I not like, but I loathe building Weebly websites. Okay. I do not like building Weebly websites. I am not passionate about building Weebly or Wix or WordPress or whatever type of platform website. I don't like it. Period. I don't like, I don't love, I'm not passionate about sitting down and cranking out 10 due diligence on 10 different niche and city combinations and, and looking at a screen until my eyeballs want to bleed. I'm not passionate about that. I'm not passionate about studying boring niches like concrete and tree service and insulation and stucco, okay? And I'm not passionate about talking to business owners that quite frankly, 90% of the time really piss me off because a lot of times they just don't get it. I'm not passionate about any of those things, okay? I'm not. And so thank goodness that I was able to not confuse being passionate about loving every single tiny second of every single day and every nuance of the thing that you're doing, okay? I'm not passionate about those things. I don't get my jollies off doing what I just mentioned. However, do you wanna know what does get my jollies off? And I think I need to hold the mic on this one. Let me make sure I don't like accidentally click off. But you know what does? I'm going to hold it right here so you guys can really hear me. You know what really does get my jollies off? Creating assets. Creating assets that are going to pay me forever. That I'm going to build today and they're going to pay me next month and the month after and the month after. And I'm going to wake up in three years and they're still going to be paying me. I'm passionate about that. I love that. Sorry, you had to hear me sniffing with my allergies. Okay. You know what else I'm passionate about? I'm passionate 
about becoming financially free so I can move my family, so I can give my family an extraordinary life that 99% of the world can't, okay? The 99% of the people can't give th themselves or their family. You know what gets my jollies off? Creating generational wealth. Buying, bu buying back my time so I can go spend my entire life doing something that's going to change the world. Something that when I die, I can look back on and go, dude, I did it. Dude, I spent my life chasing something and I made a difference in that continent or that, that country or the entire world. That gets me excited, okay? Being able to um, employ my friends and my family, the ones here and the ones overseas. Being able to buy my dad a Rolex, a $15,000 Rolex. I lied to him, told him it was $10,000. It's a $14,700 Rolex that I bought him. Because, because, it wasn't his birthday. It wasn't his this or that or the rest. I did it because, because I wanted to, right? That gets me stoked. And, 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 and last night he was here at my house and I got to see him wearing that Rolex. And it made me feel really awesome to know that I was able to create something that gave me enough that, that spun off enough cash that I could go buy him a Rolex just because I thought that he should have one, okay? And it's not that he can't go buy one, but he never would have done it for himself because he's old school, man. He would have just said, I'll get it next year, I'll get it next year, I'll get it next year. And he never would have done it. And it took me just buying it for him, okay? Being able to buy my mom a Louis Vuitton purse because I just thought it would be cool because she didn't even know what Louis Vuitton was until I bought it for her. And now she's calling the bag Louis. That gets me excited, okay? Being able to move my family to West Africa on a whim, not sell my house, not sell my wagon, and go and set up an entirely second life and have the money and the resources and the time freedom to be able to do it, okay? And lastly, being able to say, hey, hey, babe, go to my wife and say, hey, you know what? Your parents, I think they deserve a trip. Let's go and let's let's invite them and let's invite your sibling and his and, and her husband and let's go pay for an entire trip, flights, food, the whole thing and do it on our dime, okay? Guys, that's a, that's a few of the things that I am passionate about. Those are the things that I get my jollies off on. And I don't want you to mistakenly believe that every second of every day you, you get in this business model and every second of every day you're going to love, because I'm telling you that there are probably 10 hours a week where I want to pull out my hair and I want to choke somebody out. I remember literally last week on Monday, I, I got a phone call and I forgot to put my phone on silent. And I was so tired by Monday at nine 30 in the morning that I tossed my phone. Like I actually threw it at the wall. Okay. Thank goodness it didn't break. There are multiple hours and moments a week that I am like, what am I doing? And I want to just freaking just throw everything to the wind. And that is okay. Okay. So I just want to set the record straight that like, you are going to love every second of this. And even the people that are chasing their dream. Okay. I, I know that Kobe Bryant was an actual animal. He was a machine. But I know there were times when he woke up at four in the morning and he didn't feel like going and working out. He didn't feel like going and lifting weights. He didn't feel like missing uh, 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 the club the night before so he could wake up early. I know that, okay, because he's human. But he loved what that created and the legacy that he created. So I just don't want you guys to think and, and, and believe that there's some business model out there that every second of every day, you're going to love everything. There are going to be things that you hate about everything, but I'm going to tell you about the things that you're going to hate. Okay. So um, I want to set, I just want to set the record straight and, and let you guys know, I'm not passionate about a lot of parts of this business model, but I am passionate about the results that it can produce, the life that it can produce, the things that it can allow me to do, the, the generational wealth that it's allowing me to build and, and this entire empire that I'm able to build. And I'm using this vehicle to do it. Okay. Guys, the honeymoon stage of the rank and rep business model is going to eventually wear off. I'm, I'm here to tell you guys, Gentry Julian, I know you just barely started into it and it's still exciting. It's still fun. It's still new. And there's going to come a time, some, some of us sooner, some of us later, and you are going to wake up and go, dang, dude, I, I, is this it? I, I don't know, man. Like, shoot, dude, this is this what Nick's talking about? This is supposed to be so sexy, it's supposed to be so good. Is this it? More due diligence? 
More business owners telling me I'm a piece of crap and I'm the hundredth person that's called them this year. I don't know if this is it, man. The honeymoon stage is going to wear off. And so I'm going to go over the list of things that you're probably going to hate and you're going to wish that someone had told you before you started. And if you've already started, that's great. And if you're new to this, that's great. Because sometimes what you need to hear is the truth. And sometimes what you need to hear is tough love. And I'm here to tell you guys that this list of things are things that I hate just as much as you. And I continue to do them. But you know what I did is I figured out how to do them, how to master them, and how to hire other people to do them for me because I don't like to do them. And how to create enough income so that I could hire a team and now I can literally manage a team instead of have to do these actual things. <laughs>